Rolana's Trend Blades are such a cool weapon and definitely one of the things I was most excited to try in Shadow of the Archery. So I beat New Game with my Fire Knight's Greatsword build, then respect into Int Faith to give these Trend Blades a go into New Game Plus. But man, the weapon is just not that good. One of the main problems I have with this weapon that's making it feel so bad is the damage. I'm not sure if it's because of the split scaling or what, but the damage on this weapon just feels extremely undertuned. With the weapon art for both fire and magic attacks, you have to commit to fairly long animations with what feels like little to no hyper armor. The fire attack is melee, so you have to be pretty much hugging the enemy if you want to hit with it, and even if it does hit, the damage is kinda just bad. I'm often struggling to deal even a thousand damage with it. And the magic attack is honestly worse, since it's a 5 hit combo, the overall animation time feels even longer, and once again the damage is just not good, it's struggling to deal even 600 damage per hit. That's just so laughably bad, not only because you can and will be easily knocked out of it, but also because the range on it isn't even good. So many times I would try to use this to punish enemies from range, and then it just doesn't even reach them even though it looks like it should. If I am close enough to hit with it, the enemy is almost certainly going to punish me for trying it. And again, even if I can get it off, the damage just does not justify the risk and commitment whatsoever. This is such a huge letdown for abilities that look so cool. I thought it would be very versatile in combat, being able to use the magic attack at range and the fire attack at melee, but it's just not good. Usually when I run into new game plus with a new build, most bosses below end game are a complete breeze that I can take out in mere seconds, but with this weapon, they suddenly feel like entire spectacles. And then with an actually end game level boss like Moog, who I was trying to defeat to get back to the DLC area, the weapon just straight up feels like it can't win. I'll be the first to admit, my gameplay against Moog here is far from the most skilled thing in the world. But even if I played this much better, I think we could all agree the damage it's doing is just really bad for what it is. Yes, the weapon does deal primarily partially fire damage, and Moog does resist fire by 80%, but the fire damage is less than a third of the weapon's AR, and even with that accounted for, the magic weapon skill attacks are still hitting like a wet noodle. It feels like I would need almost literal frame perfect gameplay to actually beat Moog with this weapon. And if it's this hard to beat the DLC Gatekeeper with the weapon, I could only imagine how much of a struggle the actual DLC would be. So to give the rundown, I'm currently using this on an Int Faith build with 56 Vigor, 13 Mind, 20 Endurance, 20 Strength, 12 Dexterity plus 5 thanks to the Millicent's Prosthesis, 55 Intelligence, 55 Faith, and 9 Arcane. 55-55 run Int and Faith because those are the soft caps for the weapon, that I wanted to maximize both to utilize them in different scenarios where one is better than the other. The melee attacks do get a bit more damage from strength and dexterity, but then the weapon skill damage tanks tremendously since those only skill with int and faith respectively. Strength and dexterity will be leveled over time, but that takes quite a lot of level commitment that I just don't have yet on this character. And the equipment is of course Rolana's Trin Blades, and I also have the Sword of Night and Flame equipped, to bring out in situations where its abilities will work out better than Rolanda's Trend Blades. I have the Golden Order seal since it goes with Entin Faith, though I'm mainly just using it to cast buffs like Golden Vow and the Body Aura buff, and not actually using attacking incantations. Reason for that being, the Trend Blades are a paired weapon, so it's almost always going to be two-handed, and having to constantly switch from one-handing to two-handing, to switch between using incantations and the weapon, isn't a hassle that I wanted to deal with on the build. And for the talismans, I have Carrion Filigree Crest to decrease the FP cost of the skills. This feels pretty important, since the weapon is so stat hungry I wasn't actually able to level mind at all. Then there's Shard of Alexander to boost the weapon skill damage, Millicent's Prosthesis to meet the dexterity requirement to use the weapon, while also providing a damage increase with the successive attacks that the weapon gets. And lastly, Rolana's Cameo, for another increase to the weapon skill damage, but if I'm being completely honest, this talisman is horrible and you should not use it. 
The buff is the exact same size as Shard of Alexander, yet in order to actually get the buff, you have to continue holding down your stance for what feels like an entire 1 to 2 extra seconds before doing your attack. That is such an unreasonable amount of time for a 15% increase, and you don't even have hyper armor while holding down, so enemies can and will punish you very hard for trying this with them. Considering how few skills this talisman can even buff, I don't get why it even has this condition at all. But yeah, overall, I can't lie, I am extremely disappointed with this weapon. I went into New Game Plus very excited, and thinking I would be able to make a video talking about how good the weapon is and how to use it, but it's just not. It looks very cool, especially the heavy attacks and weapon skills, but it's just not good. If you want to do an int faith build, I think you would get way better results just sticking with the Sword of Night and Flame, using strong incantations with the Golden Order seal. But hopefully Willana's Trimblades will get a serious buff in a balance patch in the near future. And that's all I've got for today. If you've got a weapon or build you'd like me to cover next, please leave a comment below letting me know. I'm looking forward to being able to make a much more positive video next time. Thanks. Bye.